California, we're lucky enough to have some of the best weather around. Days are often filled with a lot of this, sunshine. So why not put some of that sun to work? Well, that's exactly the thought the Trina family had when they left Italy way back in 1926 for greener pastures in Northern California. They wanted to branch out from their grocery store business, so they started doing what other farmers were doing in the area, drying fruit in the California sun. Trina Foods is a fourth generation company that we started in 1926 in San Jose, and we sun dry fruits, primarily sun dried tomatoes, apricots, cherries, uh, blueberries, strawberries, items like that. Now, almost a century later, and the Trina family is still drying fruit the old fashioned way, but with some modern technology thrown in there too, of course. Today, it's the brother and sister team of Willie and Vicki Trina who are looking after the family business that has grown leaps and bounds since it was first started. Over the years, they've dried a variety of fruit with one of their biggest successes coming from returning to their Italian roots and drying a favorite at their family dinner table, tomatoes. By using sun-dried tomatoes and products like their popular sun-dried tomato ketchup, Trina Foods has grown to become one of the largest dryers of fruits and vegetables in the country. And along with tomatoes, the family also grows and dries apricots, which are some of the freshest around. That's because they are picked at the peak of freshness and then immediately trucked into Trina headquarters in Patterson. Here they are washed, sorted, and inspected every step of the way and then left in the sun for seven to 10 days to let it do its magic. After this, the fruit is used as an ingredient by dozens of other food companies, including the Trina family's own. They recently started their own line of barbecue sauces with dried fruit as a base and a dried fruit snack line called Fruitons. We have a slogan, slower is better. And in this fast paced world, which has a lot of benefits to it, Sometimes it's good just to slow down and to really enjoy the moment you're in. And so I guess the one thing we'd like to take, or we'd like people to take away, is to enjoy their food and enjoy that moment of savoring something that is not only good for you, but tastes delicious. The name comes from the idea of getting fruit on things like salads, desserts, and yogurts, and getting fruit in to people as part of their overall healthy diet. So homemade, fresh, and real are just some of the words you'll hear folks say to describe the way they're reinventing the way we think of dried fruit. Apricot puree, which we Blend, uh, we make a paste out of the apricots, the dried apricots, we blend it with water, and then the mixture goes into the barbecue sauce. So this is our cook room, okay. is basically what we call it. Um, over here we have our cooking kettles where we uh, batch out ingredients and dump them into the kettles, cook them for about 40 minutes. You're gonna cook them, you know, you put it together just like you do it at home. From here, the sauce travels down below to the filling machine and then off to the capper where it's packaged and shipped off to customers to enjoy. So this is it. We are at the end of the process of the bold and tangy sun-dried apricot barbecue sauce, John. So what happens here? They just bought, they boxed up and... Yeah, right now it goes into our supply chain. We have a variety of consumer lines, e-commerce, retail, wholesale. Uh, but yeah, it'll get palletized here and then okay. into, our, into our cooler, our final cooling, and then into our distribution. And then off to a store near you. Yes, ma'am. So uh, what do you, how do you like to use this? Uh, I usually put it on ribs. Maybe ribs? Back ribs? Oh, that's a good idea. Ribs. Maybe back ribs or pulled pork. Oh, that's a good idea too. John's full of good ideas here. Also full of good ideas is Chef Carrie Taylor, who works with the family to keep things fresh in the world of dried fruit by coming up with new and inventive recipes. What I find is that the flavor is much more intense. Um, and you get a lot more flavor uh, out of the fruit and uh, you just taste the difference. And so what I like to do is take a rotisserie chicken with our, our um, Apricot barbecue sauce. Now the apricot barbecue sauce is great, has a lot of apricot flavor in it, and a simple um, coleslaw dressing, mix it up on there. 
Your kids are going to love it. Your family's going to love it. Your friends are going to love it. Everyone's going to love it. Yeah, I'm and you, love like it. I said, you can do it I'll big, try. you can do it small, yeah. you can do it. Um, <laughs> that's right. Good job. Let's go. And with more new products on the horizon, this family's close connection to the land doesn't look to slow down as they continue to share the best of what their family produces for other families to enjoy. It's all part of the recipe for success the Trina family has built from the ground up. We're really proud of what we've done. We're really proud of what our ancestors have done and what our parents have done. You know, it reminds us of the little things in life.